Right, what you see in front of you is a hoverboard. Some of you may be familiar with them, and for those that uh, have no sense of balance, will be even more familiar with them. Pretty simple. You have your on and off switch, and you have your charge port. Now this one is dead. Not a peep out of it. Let's just press the... See? Nothing at all. Now let's see if we can diagnose and fix it, or fault find and fix. The most obvious thing would be the charger. So let's just push that over there. Here we have the charger. And that's your little plug for charging. Plug it into the hoverboard. But let's just see if there's anything coming through. So switch it on. You can see the green light comes on. And we'll just check for voltage. So let's just have a look here. That one in here and that one there, and we're getting 42 volts. Now it's a 36 volt battery pack in the hoverboard, so obviously you have to, the voltage has to be a higher to reach the 36. But because of lithium ion, the 3.7 volt lithium-ion batteries they normally charge up to 4.2 so that would be about right as it's a 10s battery pack so we plug it in and the light is staying green nothing is happening so again now what we do is you just hit the power button and see what happens. The Bluetooth device, the Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Right. Now, yeah. you can see here, it's telling me battery. But it did come on and all the lights lit up there. So, could be the, could very well be the battery. The next step now would be to take it apart. So looking at it from the side, you'll see that the charge port is here and your on off switch is there. Now that tells you that the most of the circuitry is on this side. So that leaves your space over here for your battery pack. So turn it upside down. All the screws, there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine screws, and they're all Phillips or cross head. So let's just undo them all. And remove the panel. Now try not to lose the screws, as it can be a little bit awkward. And put them back into place. And some of the little lighting effects here are connected. So disconnect. Now if you're unsure, take a photograph with your smartphone. And then you know where they go back in again. So just disconnect. Put over to one side. And there you have your battery pack. So now your battery pack is connected here, which runs across to your circuitry. 
and it goes into your bed in here. So what we do then is we'll just disconnect it. And we'll just put a voltage on that. Or, sorry, we will test it for voltage. You can see it's on negative. Let's try it there again. Right. We have 2.1 volts. So obviously something is not right there. Right, another test if you can is I have a I have a 36 volt pack for a different device. And what I do is I'll connect it up. Just bypass the battery and I'll connect it up. And then turn it around and press the power button. The Bluetooth device is the Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Right, and now you can see the battery indicator is green. So it looks like it's the battery pack in the hoverboard. Now we can take this a stage further and remove the battery pack and see if we can repair it. Having disconnected this, we need to take the little cage cradle off that's holding the battery in place and that's held on by four Phillips screws. Now also, this connector here, we need to remove this. Again, if you're not sure, take a photo so you'll know where it goes when you're putting it back together. So pull that off to one side and then we'll undo the four Phillips. bracket it's holding the battery securely and also make sure that you have your screws now the little tip of this is magnetized so it does help now your battery is ready to move so just lift it up and slide it a little bit sideways and we have it out Now the next thing to do would be, with some of these batteries, what happens is you get, they're lithium-ion 18650s. One of them may become faulty and it causes a cascade. And then basically all the rest of them are junk. In effect, they're not junk at all because they can be reused, save for the one. So what we do is we'll try and fault find out one battery and if it if possible we'll replace it and get this battery pack working again. Or of course you can wait several weeks and order a new battery pack and then junk this or recycle it. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and repair it and I will recycle the bad battery. So here we are 24 hours later. I went through each of the batteries individually, tested them, and some of them showed small bit of voltage and some of them showed none. And then we have the BMS, it's the battery management system balance board when you're charging. It's supposed to 
throw an equal amount of voltage or charge into the batteries. Now there's 20 batteries, 10 of them and then the parallel makes up to 20. So it brings it up to 4 point something amps. So you have here, you have number 1, these two here, number 1, goes around, number 2, number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then it goes back into the balance board. Then you have all your wiring here. Again, starts off at number 1 and ends up on the earth at number 10. Now, I charged the bank of batteries, each bank, charge them separately with this here. It's a, six, it's a maximum 6S, not 10S. So I did it in two sections. I started off doing uh, 1S at a time and then I started doing 2S. I worked my way up to 4S and 6S and then brought the whole lot up. And you can see here, well it's actually gone again, it fell out, but when it was fully charged I brought it up to <coughs> just over 40 volts and then left it overnight and it's dropped back to 39.28 and it seems to be holding. Now when I connected it back through the power for charging it's not charging very well and um, I think I think the problem is the BMS board and I've since ordered another one now it's it is the charge is running through it but it's not balancing the batteries correctly so I think there's something gone in this so again a replacement one costs about 10 euro and then if you just follow like for like or just it'll be just plug and play apart from the the two soldering parts just down here it'll be and these will just be plug and play so for the moment I can put it back together and we'll assemble it seal it up and we'll put it back into the hoverboard right I've wrapped it back up together again and uh, you may wonder why I didn't use any new shrink wrap. Well, the reason is um, I'm not very good at wrapping and this is going to have to be opened again for um, the BMS board to be replaced. And thirdly, I don't have any heat shrink at the moment. But most importantly is it's back to pretty much its original shape and also, more importantly, is got to check for voltage. Right, so we have volts. So, even though I had to manipulate it a bit, we've still got something there. Now let's put it back into the hoverboard. So all looks good. Let's check along the seam, everything is sealed. Check along there, it's all sealed. And let's switch it on and see what happens. The Bluetooth device the Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Right, that's good and you can see the light here is now showing green which means it's fully charged 
So again, you have to, that's working and that's working. Yep, that's working fine. Now it might be a while before the uh, 10S BMS balance board comes in, but in the meantime it can be used and if needs be then you may have to open it up and charge it, try bypass the BMS board. But uh, all in all it's not a difficult thing to do and it turned out that it wasn't the batteries after all, but what did happen was because it wouldn't charge, it had been left there for so long and the batteries went really really low. Ideally they shouldn't go below 2.5 volts, in this case they went even below that. So I had to play around a little bit and give them a bit of a shock to life. And I managed to bring them back to 4.0 to 4.2 volts. And they settled back happily around 3.9 to 4.1. So it looks like the batteries are okay. And the BMS board will be replaced soon. And I hope you found this video useful. And I mean there's so many of those hoverboards out there that... For one reason or another they just don't take a charge anymore and people will either go out and spend a lot of money and buy a new battery pack or they'll recycle them. So in the meantime it's probably easier to try and fix it if you can. Hope you found this video useful. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Drop a comment. If you're curious about anything about this don't hesitate to ask and share, like, subscribe and you'll find us on the usual social media platforms.